Hey guys, and welcome back to the Time Sticky YouTube channel. My name is Jake, for those of you who are new, and today I'm going to be talking about a recovered pocket watch that helps us deduce the time of the earthquake that sunk Port Royal, the richest and wickedest city in the New World. So, without further ado, let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Port Royal, located in the southeast of Jamaica in Kingston Harbor, was once one of the busiest trading centers of the British West Indies. While it was an English town, much of the population consisted of buccaneers, pirates, and freebooters. In turn, merchants and artisans followed to cater to the pirates' desires and greedily sell their wares and services to the gold-laden buccaneers. By the late 1600s, it had become one of the largest European cities in the New World, second only to Boston. The most well-known pirate to establish his headquarters in Port Royal was Captain Henry Morgan himself. In addition to having a popular rum named after him, Captain Morgan was one of the most notorious privateers of the 17th century. For those of you who don't know, privateers were legal pirates, mercenaries who attacked enemy ships and ports in exchange for most of the loot. The remainder of the loot was sent to the king. Morgan worked to attack Spain for England while the two countries were at war. Due to escalating aggression, the English sent many of their privateers, including Captain Morgan, to Port Royal to be ready for war. By 1668, Morgan was the leader of the Brethren of the Coast, a group of pirates, buccaneers, corsairs, and privateers on Port Royal. Morgan was most well known for his taking over Panama, and soon after that, he settled in Jamaica. He spent most of his days drinking and running his estates until his death in 1688. Not long after Captain Morgan's death on June 7th of 1692, Port Royal was hit by an estimated 7.5 magnitude earthquake, followed by a great tsunami. Due to the limited building space, most of the two-story brick houses were built on loose sand. The sandy soil resulted as a geological phenomenon known as liquefaction. When fault lines shift under a sandy area, instead of shaking, the earth surrounds whatever is on its surface. The earthquake sank over 33 acres of Port Royal immediately after the main shock. Of the 6,500 people living in Port Royal at the time, over 2,000 people are believed to have died. The survivors rebuilt their city across the bay. This city is now known as Kingston, the capital of Jamaica. The original Port Royal is at the bottom of the sea. However, in the 1950s, deep sea divers started to discover its hidden treasures. One such diver, Edwin A. Link, found a new way to explore the sea by designing a vessel for diving and salvaging called the Sea Diver. During his expedition to Port Royal, he discovered many artifacts such as pewter, clay pipes, and glass. However, the most well-known artifact from that expedition was a brass-cased pocket watch, which dated back to 1686. It was made by a Frenchman living in the Netherlands named Paul Blondel. The watch was not in the best conditions, as the hands had been damaged due to rust. However, through x-rays, scientists found that the hands were stopped at 11.43 am, which is believed to be the time the earthquake took place. For archaeology, this was the first instance that the exact time for a disaster was recorded. Today, the remains of Port Royal lie under 40 feet of water and attract explorers and sightseers from all around the world. With permission from the government, people can dive into the restricted Port Royal ruins. Many of the items recovered over the years can be seen at the Museum of History and Ethnography at the Institute of Jamaica in Kingston. Because of the unique circumstances of this national disaster, many buildings are still intact and fairly undisturbed. It has been compared to Pompeii for its archaeological wonders and was designated as a National Heritage Site in 1999. So, what do you guys think of the story of Port Royal? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content from us, you can subscribe right here. And as always, if you need any help repairing your watch, the link to our website is right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.